everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Gina. I've got uh, some journals to share with you guys today. I've been working on some smaller journals. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will already know that. Um, but I thought I would just start with um, the first two are Design Team Project for Love Junk Journals. Um, Tracy Fox on Etsy. And this is the... <clears throat> Two little journals here that I've made with this uh, Tracy's latest kit. I will put the kit below um, in case you're interested in it. It's uh, a lot of lilacs. Um, beautiful. Very shabby chic. So this journal is going to measure about four and a quarter by six. And I'm just going to flip through one because they are the same except, you know, there's a few... There might be a couple of tags that are slightly different, but this has been made with a lunch bag. So I was fortunate that my son brought me some um, lunch bags over when he came for a visit. So yay! <laughs> so um, let's see. I took the papers from the kit. Look at those. Beautiful. And... Um, then I did some stitching around it, and then I turned it into kind of like a tri-fold. Um, so, let's see, on the front here, I've got, you know, the Tim Holtz little photo die. And that's just full of lots of little um, bits and pieces from the kit. These little tickets come with it. Beautiful, aren't they? Um, and then... You get these little cards. Now, I will say, I printed the kit, um, two copies on a sheet of paper. So, um, that's how I ended up with um, this size of everything. Otherwise, it would be for a, a larger journal. Um, and then just various little cards and things from, these are from Tracy's shop. I love those. I just think they have a really nice vintage look to them. So just various pieces that I've tucked in there. And then when you flip this over, this is from a different kit in Tracy's shop. So you have a good look around. These are beautiful. I love the stitching on that. Very rustic. But I just tried to gather up anything that was purples and blues that complemented um, the kit for it. And then here I have recently purchased some um, old writing tablets um, at one of the car boots. A guy had uh, lots of these and they were the old ones so I just cut this down to make a little um, place you could make some notes. So this was a um, craft card and what I've done is just adhered it so that makes that cover just a little bit sturdier and then that way you've got a nice flip out. So there's not a tuck spot back here because of the way I made this. So um, just to flip over to the back, I've left this plain so you could come back and add some pockets if you wanted to, but it was getting so chunky I thought I'd just leave it um, and then the recipient could make that decision. So these are the papers, which are absolutely stunning. I've got lots of little um, vintage book pages that I thought matched nicely with it. I've done some stenciling in this. I've hand torn um, several of the pages. This is more stenciling behind. These are the pockets and the tags that come with the kit. And again, I just printed it at two copies per page. Here I took a tea dyed um, doily and then I've sandwiched it between the baking paper so that you get the variation on the um, between the white and the tea dyeing. And then I've stitched around that and created a pocket here. So this is this little bingo card comes with the kit. So those are all in, you know, like it's, it's like a between a blue and a purple. I'm not too sure what the color name would be, but I love it because it, it it's very vintage looking. And this is from a different kit of Tracy's in her shop. Beautiful um, journal card. Here I took some of the um, corrugated cardboard, inked it to put some lines on that page. 
And then on this one, I have created a little altered paper clip using various things from Tracy's shop. And then I made a little, tiny little file folder. And these little labels come in that kit. Aren't they lovely with the little purple around it? Ah, I love this kit. I'm definitely going to be working with this one again. I love when Tracy um, creates the shabby chic kits. I mean, all of her kits are stunning, but I'm obviously drawn to the shabby chic. Um, and this is another one of the pages from the kit. Little doily I've tucked in there. And then this is just another image. Um, I believe this is a separate kit from Tracy's shop. So have a look around because she has got some stunning um, things. And what I like about it is they work no matter what kits you're using you know, nature-related um, Tracy's really work well with other uh, kits, so that's nice. And this just flips out. I did some stamping here. This is an Edith Holden um, page that I've folded up, backed over, and then created this pocket, which I love the way that looks. And then I've altered that little tag there. Isn't that beautiful? Her papers are just uh, book pages are just beautiful. Here I just did some collaging and stitching around to create another little pocket there. So that's been tucked in. Lots of seam binding throughout. A lot of stamping and stenciling you can see. Um, this is an old German book page. And then the center I've got some glass beads that I've tied on there to the little dangles. So there's quite a lot of writing space, even though they're small journals. Um, here, I just altered this little um, little tag. Now, this field notes on the background, that is a Nikki um, Adagun. She has these in her shop. And then I took this image, which is Tracy's, and put on there. I love those little field note cards. Um, they're just another to me like a, a great staple to have in your um, in your stash because they can be used so many different ways with other images. Here's a couple other, this is a scrapbook tag of just trying to get through that stash, you know, I bet you're so fed up with listening to it, but little by little guys I'm dwindling it down. So I'm feeling quite good about it and these I've really <coughs> enjoyed going back to the small journals again because um, you know, I've been on a big, big push with the large journals for some time, and I do have custom orders that I'm still working on, but um, these are just ones I thought, oh, I'll take a break and do these and just add them to the shop, because um, I've had a lot of people asking me if I do some smaller things, because, um, you know, not everybody wants a large, full-size journal, and uh, so I understand that, and I am trying to make more time to do that. Um, you know, in between orders. Um, another book page, and then the back. Like I said, you've got room if you wanted to add something, but it is quite chunky already uh, when you see. It's pretty big. Now, that is one signature. Um, so, again, you know, there's no need for me to go through the other journal because it is... The same as this, just maybe a couple of differences on the tags. Okay, so those are going to be in the shop. Um, did I say those have beeswax? And then look at these clusters of um, vintage trim. I wanted, I should have pointed that out. And then I've got the little metal um, charm, and then did some stitching around this. Um, I love how those clusters have come out. Those are absolutely gorgeous. So. Okay, let me sit these over, and then I've got these two little beauties. I'm crazy about these, and I want to give credit to uh, Rita. I think it's Rita Donnelly on um, Grandma's Craft Shack, I think. I'll put Rita's uh, channel link below because I was totally inspired um, by some little journals that she had done. I was binge-watching her um, 
I don't know, about a, a week ago. Well, maybe it hasn't. I don't know. I'm losing track of time. But anyways, I was binge watching her one day because I love to listen to Rita talk. She's got the sweetest voice. You know how some channels, um, you know, maybe... Mm, well, let's just say I, I really enjoy listening to her. She's got a very nice way about her, and I can put her on in the background and, and just listen to her for days. She's got a, such a sweet little accent. Um, so she and one of her swaps had done some little journals, and oh my goodness, Rita does beautiful work. And so it's inspired me. I thought, oh yeah, I want to play around. So I dug out those napkins and the Mod Podge, don't you know? So um, I battled through because <laughs> uh, I am trying to use that stuff up. Um, and I totally forgot about that um, artist medium because I used to have that and um, I used it up months ago and it just I totally had forgotten it so I'll probably not that you care but I'll probably go back to that I like the the collage podge but um, it's a little bit pricey and I think I'll keep it for small jobs but the medium the artist um, I think it's medium gel that's quite nice stuff too all right so anyway sorry I'm digressed again this is a little napkin in that beautiful with the lilacs and um, so this has been Mud Podged On, and I've got three signatures in this, and believe it or not, this little baby's got over 140 pages in that. So here, I've just done a little tuck, tuck spot on the front with a card back there. This is part of my, like, stash busting, um, because I was just gathered up stuff and said, oh my goodness. I just got to get on through it. Everything's been tea dyed. I tried to do quite a lot of punching um, throughout, and it's just a mix, ladies. It's a mix of, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I don't mean to exclude anybody. Um, it's just a mix of so many people I've worked with um, now and in the past, and stuff I've just gotten on, on um, the internet that um, I, at one time I had a Graphics Fairy subscription, so I downloaded some stuff at that point. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, this isn't the one I was going to show you guys. Uh, that's um, some more of that German, yeah, German book page. Tiny little envelope. I'm not going to take everything out, guys, because I am concerned about time here. Um Oh, what was I saying? Gosh, I'm sorry. I've lost my train of thought. Here's a little tuck spot there. Uh, just a mix of scrapbooking papers, you know, just stuff that I thought, well, I could cut down and just use up, really. There's the center of that signature. That's pretty, really pretty image. Just a little tuck spot there. Um, so yeah, just a mix of things that I tried to coordinate everything. I, I always try to make sure everything's working together, not just be completely random. But um, but yeah, little by little, that's a little flip out there with the pocket. Um, my aim is to try to get through this stuff in August. I don't think I'm going to achieve that because I do have a lot of stash. And it just seems to keep building. But I'm hoping by the end of September, because um, I've lost... You know, I lost a lot of time in July. Um, just various things, you know, lots of writing space, plenty of room if you wanted to add more stuff. As I said, punch, I punched the pages. Uh, here's a little belly band. They're fairly plain, but they've still got uh, pockets and belly bands and things, but you can certainly still embellish them, but you can see they're pretty chunky little journals. I've got a one inch spine on these. Um, there's another pretty. These are all vintage book pages if I hadn't said that. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that was doubled up. Oh, that's nice though. I'm really pleased that it was. 
I had not even noticed that when I sewed that in. Sometimes those papers are so thin you don't realize you got two pages there. Oh, and that didn't get put in. So there, we're on the third signature. I just love these little journals. They Oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. That's from that tiny little dictionary I picked up at the car boot uh, a couple months back. And uh, I showed you guys, and I thought today, uh, that day when I was working on this, I thought, you know what? I'm going to use those pages because um, I, it's just adorable. I love it when you can find something that's kind of different. These are little tuck spots there. And it's the center of that signature. And like I said, even the scrapbook papers, I did tea dye those, so there's nothing stark white in here. Another little pocket and tag. I love that little book page. I'm going to have to be on the lookout for some more small ones because I'm loving these guys. I am loving being back in the small journals. And then this <coughs> back, very back one's got another tag. That's from Tracy's shop. And then that's, you could put up something back here if you wanted to, but I, I thought they were just sweet the way they were. So that is, I'll set that over, that's that one. And then this is the little <clears throat> bird one. And I'll just show you very quickly on this one because they are the same as inside as well. It's just I used some different um, patterns. I love this napkin. Um, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Three signature again. Like I said, over 140 pages. And then this is the inside of that. And then everything else really is uh, very similar. And I'll show you the back of that one. So there you have it, guys. That is what I've been um, working on in between orders, and uh, oh, I'm loving it. I'm okay. So I just thought I'd like to just take a few minutes. Let me check my time. Yeah, we're good. Let me set these over out of the way. I just want to share a couple of things um, that I'm going to be adding to the shop. Um, I've got. Somebody was asking me about my fabric ruffles a while back. I have finally got some of those added to the shop. Um, so you can have a look at those. I didn't pull any of those out, but I've also added some of these. I've got a few of these, and it's just a set of three um, fabric ta tags that um, they've all got old bits and pieces of lace and old vintage buttons. So there's a mix. Each one will have like this blue, one black, and then the kind of red ticking. Um, so I've got a few sets of those in there. What I'm going to be working on now, guys, are um, some tiny, um, probably this size, Christmas journals. I'm going to be doing, let me go grab real quick. These I've I've only got two of them made, um, but these are going to be in the shop too. These are little um, junk journal Christmas ornaments, and I think what I'm going to do is a set of three, um, because it's not cost effective for me to sell them individually because of the shipping you know charges internationally. So um, to make it you know cost effective. I'm, I think I'm going to do a set of three. I might even try a set of five. I'll have to see. Um, but I just I just think these are going to be precious um, as little gifts. So if you guys are interested, those are going to be coming up very soon. I'm going to get started on that because I've got um, quite a lot of Christmas paper. And <coughs> I really want to get a, a jump on this Christmas thing because... Um, it's such a small window for us to get these ready and shipped out, you know, so that people can actually give them as gifts and um, enjoy them. So that's my thoughts on that, guys. I hope you're all um, doing well. And here we are at 
at nearly the weekend again, so hey, let's give ourselves a pat on the back. We've almost made it through another week. Great. <laughs> so you guys have a great weekend, and I'll be back. Um, I don't know when I'll be back, but I will be back very soon, uh, hopefully um, with some ideas and some craft time. So you guys take care, and I'll see you here soon. Bye.